All right, YouTube, hey Josh here, Attica Lumber Company. Check out this project right here. This is actually a 24 by 36, 10 feet tall. And this little short little video, let's check this one out right here. We're actually up in Sandusky County, Ohio, but check this one out here, 10 feet at the eave. You can see a nice white, everything white here. And it's broken up here with this nice uh, tan trim, but you can see the bottom wainscot right there, three foot section. You can see that's a white. It actually looks like a different color. Let me pan back just a little bit and then I'll go up a little bit closer. But you see that it actually looks a little bit different, but it's really not the camera angle. Actually, it's the same color. So it's white on white and it's broken up there with that tan wainscot angle. Again, a three foot section there. But look at that trim right there. Pretty nice trim here. A nice color selection. Nice color. Look at that, how it breaks that up. You can see the overhead door accentuates that as well. All right, so you can see here, one foot overhang. Again, a 24 by 36, 10 feet tall right up here at the eave. All right, so to give you kind of some comps right there, that's actually a three by four window. All right there. And then also these overhead doors, this is actually a 16 by seven. All right, let me back up just a little bit. And then a nine by seven, so a nice two car garage there. You can see that roof there, that's actually a white roof, if you can see that, I think you can here on this iPhone video. But let's go inside here, let's take a look at this as well. You can see the owners chose actually three ply laminated column. Again, Southern yellow pine glued, finger jointed, laminated together, treated at the bottom there. You can see that nice two by 10 rim board there. But you can see this, we drill down actually 54 inches. This is again in Sandusky County, Ohio. Okay, we go down 54 inches. We put that right there on a concrete cookie. We put uplift protection, treated boards down at the bottom there. And you can see we backfill it with 411 stone. You see that stone mix right there? See how we tamp that down? 411 stone right there. All right, again, that's a four by three window right there, grid. And again, another four by three window. So four four by three windows, and you can see there are two man doors on this one right here. And again, we do our trusses. Again, a 24 by 36, these trusses. You can see two by four bottom, two by four top cord. All right, and you can see we space them, or set them four foot on center. Again, I've talked about this in the past. I haven't talked about it in the last few videos, but we're not an eight foot, nine foot, 10 foot, 11 foot, 12 foot company, or on center company. We put our trusses four foot on center there. We just need more lumber, more wood. You can see how these purlins, it's actually a, not that tall of a building, 10 feet tall. But you can see how those purlins are laying flat. All right, so again, we, if you put them eight foot, nine foot, 10 foot, you gotta go on edge with your purlins. So we put, Purlins on flat there, and it's an easier application, we think, you know, to put the screw in. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea. So a nice two-car garage, post-train pole barn building, right up here in Sandusky County. Wow, we check that one out right there. Yeah, pretty nice. All right, so if you're looking to replicate, duplicate this, maybe give you some ideas. All right, so let me kind of go to the diagonal section right here, and then we will finish and wrap this one up, all right? Till the next one, keep it locked, keep it loaded right here at Atticalumber and then atticalumber.com.